Hey guys, TJ Francisco here. I wanted to bring you behind the scenes and see what happens on Mondays when we list the house on the weekend. I just want to give you a quick visual. I'm a visual guy and I like to share visuals here. Check that out. We've had 14 offers uh, put it on our house that we put on the market coming soon last Monday. Uh, dropped it and went live on Friday. By Sunday, we had multiple offers with a deadline of this Monday and we're picking one here today and just wanted to talk a little bit about what's important in an offer or multiple offers for our sellers. With multiple offers, we see a lot of different things. We see the price obviously get bid up with the competition, but more importantly, we see the terms get better and that's where the secret sauce is. And the terms, if a, if a, a buyer pushes the price up, that puts more pressure on the appraisal for the loan to be completed. So not only are we excited about the price, but we need the terms to also match to be beneficial for our sellers. Meaning, let's say we have a house at 350. It gets bid up to 380, which is an additional $30,000 higher. That puts pressure on the price comparison to the neighborhood that it might not be able to close because the price was driven up so high and the appraisal might be coming in lower because the neighborhood sales are probably more around 350, 360. So what we're looking for here in our offers is not only the highest price, but the biggest terms, the biggest guarantees, meaning um, we have an offer in for 380 with a matching $30,000 appraisal guarantee. That is almost a slam dunk. Almost, well, I say almost, because you never truly know what the appraisal is gonna be. But you have that guarantee up front with money and the lender also guaranteeing that they verified the monies in their account to cover the cost of the closing and the, the, the shortage of the appraisal. So there's other terms that are beneficial too. Let's say my sellers need time to move out. That typically gets packed in there too for free to add an extra bonus so then the sellers will take their offer. So if they need two weeks up front saying they need to move out of the property, the sellers, I'm sorry, the buyers may come up and say, we're gonna give you this big offer with a big guarantee and we're gonna give you those two weeks for free to boot. So you'll take our offer. So it's essentially the buyers backing up the truck and giving them as many assets or as much as they can. So trying to woo or sweeten the deal so they'll take their offer. Now, another part that goes unspoken uh, being in the business now for 17 years is who you hit your wagon to on, on the buy side. What I mean by that, you have to deal with the other agent and more importantly, you have to deal with the lender. Not all lenders are equal in this business. Like me, with myself, <clears throat> I have a lot of experience. I've been around long enough, kind of long in the tooth now with 17 years. I've dealt with a lot of agents and I know which agents know how to get a transaction from start to finish without getting in the way and trying to be a hot shot and causing friction or just making chaos and making a deal explode. So for your sellers, the ultimate goal is to get them to the finish line. They can close, get them as much money as you can with the best terms as possible. Another person it's uh, essential is the lender if they do have a mortgage, right? Which probably 85 to 90% of the buyers out here do have a mortgage. You wanna make sure you're dealing with lenders who can close the deal too, who have verified and underwritten their clients up front. A lot of these lenders too, if, they, if the buyer puts enough money down, they will forego the appraisal altogether and there you go, that's another slam dunk where if you have a higher offer and they forego or just don't need the appraisal altogether, they bypass it, then that, that amount is guaranteed as well. So. Just a little heads up what's going on out here. I just wanted to talk briefly about this because this is happening quite a bit with our listings and we wanted you to experience, just hear what's going on and hear what's happening. And if you have any questions or you're considering getting into the market, please consider who you interview and who you will even trust with your transaction. It, it makes a huge difference out here between hoping you get to be successful or just killing it here and having people throwing tens of thousands of dollars at you to, to buy your home. So TJ Francisco here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you appreciated it.